The first thing that you want to do is choose a color of paper. Then you want to fold it in half and crease it so that the crease is on the left side and the opening is on the right side. It should look like a book. Crease it really well so it stays in place. The next thing you want to do is add your name to your sketchbook. I am doing this by adding a bubble letter design that is more of a boxy bubble letter. You could do either kind. Um, I am tracing those letters that I drew out very lightly so that I can go back and erase if I need to. The next thing I'm adding is a design that goes with my theme of art supplies. You will choose your own theme that is something that you are interested in or that you like. You won't simply want to copy mine. Your theme should tell a little bit about you and your likes and interests. The next thing I am doing is tracing all of my designs with a Sharpie. We need to keep in mind our Sharpie rules of not pressing down hard, going slowly, not leaving the Sharpie on the page so it bleeds, and you see here that I have a paper underneath my sketchbook cover so that it catches any of the Sharpie that goes off of the page. Also keep in mind that I do not want you to color or fill in any areas with the Sharpie. It messes up the top of it and it wastes ink. Now I'm going back and erasing all of those stray pencil marks. Now I'm going to take my time and very carefully color in the cover of my sketchbook. It looks like I am going really super fast, but I'm not. I have made this video speed up so that we are not spending all class watching me color slowly. Now I'm going to be adding the paper into my sketchbook. I'm going to open it up, smooth it out, grab one of my art surveys, place it in my pile. I'm going to grab my art mantra, place it in my pile. I'm going to grab a piece of Go Fox Cubs coloring sheet and place it in my pile as well. Then I will grab about 15 pieces of full copy paper and place it in the stack as well. I'm going to straighten it up. I'm going to place it right at the crease. So your paper should be snuggling your crease. Close up my sketchbook. Moving my things out of the way to find my stabler. Again, just lining everything up to make sure it's all the way to the edge. Checking to make sure I like the way it is situated. I may be doing this for you or I may have you do it. I haven't decided yet. So I will do one staple in the middle, one at the bottom, not all the way at the bottom, but the bottom of the paper inside, and then one at the top. And there you have it, our finished sketchbook that we can use for free draw, we can use for practice drawings before an artwork, or just sketching in general.